This is Beer Addiction with your host Mike. Time for a homebrew tasting. It's been a while, we definitely deserve it. This is the final product of the chocolate porter. Bottled about 50 of them in the end um, with the batch you saw me um, make in the carboy. So we're gonna taste this. You guys know how I made it. We're gonna describe the taste a little bit. I'm gonna do it in my tasting glass from this year's Winter Warmer, which was an event in February where I tried about 40 different microbrewed beers from across the province. Great event, you should come next year. Details to come. Let's crack this open. Let's see what this has in store for us. It's been in the bottle for about three weeks now, two and a half to three weeks. So let's pour this and see what we get. So we have not too much head, but just enough for this size pour. So it's very dark. Um, it's not as dark. It's not as dark as a stout is. If I put it up to the right light, direct light, I can see through it. it has a little bit of an op uh, it has a little bit of an, op an opaqueness. So it's not really clear, but that's expected of a porter. Porters aren't necessarily supposed to be completely clear. Sometimes they're a little bit opaque. That's, that's perfectly normal. There's a lot of confusion surrounding what a porter actually is. Um, so I'm going to explain you know, what's the difference between a porter and a stout. A porter is a dark style beer originating in London in the 18th century. It is a descendant of the brown ale and is usually associated with many hops and brown malt. The name became popular when streets and river porters, people who would carry material from one area to another, gained in popularity. The history of a porter and a stout are very intertwined. Originally, porters were called many names. The strong porters in particular were called an extra porter, a double porter, or a stout porter. The stout porter was later shortened to be called a stout. For example, Guinness Extra Stout was at one time called Superior Extra Porter, when in 1840 it was changed to Extra Stout. Okay, so we've described the color. We're going to go in for a smell. Oh, so good. I love Re like reviewing my own beer. I, there's something about making the beer that makes me happy. Tasting my own beer makes me even happier. But you know, when you ask me to describe it, it makes me even happier. So, the description. A lot of coffee notes coming off the beer. Very malty coffee notes. Smell the dark malt. Smell coffee. Smell... I even smell a little bit of chocolate. It's um... It's strange though because it's not the chocolate that you just that I you know I smelt while I was brewing it. It's not that dark, unsweetened chocolate. It's more of just a pure kind of uh, toffee type uh, type taste. Maybe almost like dark caramel flavors associated. So let's get a little bit of a taste. Oh. The malt is just flows so nice and smoothly. It has a bitterness in the end, but it's strange because it was a dark chocolate that was used. I think somehow it kind of bound together with you know the bitterness that is in dark chocolate on its own with the amount of hops that I put in. Everything I smelt comes through in the taste. I do taste a little bit of coffee, strangely enough. Not as much as my coffee stout, which will be reviewed in the future, which is pure coffee. So much, so strong. So yeah, this is just chocolatey coffee, malty caramel, toffee deliciousness. That's why I call it the chocolate love porter. Because when you drink it, you fall in love with it and you never want to let it go. Good thing I have a bunch of bottles. Let's get a mouthfeel. Oh, 
it's just so well-rounded. You know, a lot of people won't like the bitterness that lingers because it's very present. So yeah, the chocolate porter came out great. Uh, still got a lot of time in the bottle to age, a lot of potential. The carbonation um, for these dark beers, for stouts, for porters is something that I want to work on. I want to get a little less carbonation, less like, um, less like a nice refreshing cold summer beer, less like a soda, and more like something, you know, that's really just hearty and nice. Love those hearty beers. So that's what we're aiming for. Thanks for sticking around. I'm going to really enjoy finishing this. So yeah, I'm not going to give a number to rate my own beer, but uh, I hope that you could try it one day in the future because it is awesome. Start making your own beer. You will not regret it. Cheers to that. Beer addiction here. Thanks for watching. Ciao. You might not want to jog on this one.